Hello guys. Today I wanted to make a video for you about why having a backbone is so hot to a girl. So why a guy having a backbone is like really, really thrilling to a girl. And I believe this is what I was really trying to say in that video I made, the raw attractive power that all men have that women can't admit to feeling. Because I was basically trying to say, you know, if you go mode one, if you get angry, if you stick up for yourself in front of her and you're in the friend zone, a lot of times she's going to get super turned on and be like, finally, dude, like that's what I was waiting for. You know, get yourself out of the friend zone. And how a lot of guys don't seem to realize that deep down a lot of times women are hoping and waiting for that, that you will pick yourself up by the bootstraps and get yourself out of the friend zone. The woman actually wants that. A lot of times, not in all cases, obviously. Sometimes you're just friends. Sometimes she doesn't want anything to do with you sexually. But a lot of times there's these ambiguous friend zone situations where she's keeping you around, kind of flirting with you. And yeah, in a lot of those situations, there's definitely some interesting power dynamics at play. Um, in my opinion, for sure. So I want to explain this to you guys a little better. So basically, why it is so important for a guy to have a backbone? Well, first of all, you need to understand the brat taming fantasy that many women have that is so, so prevalent among women in popular culture, in movies, in books, or in for them. For example, just last night, I was watching this movie, very popular on Netflix, 365 Days. It's like this huge craze that swept the nation. It's a lot like Fifty Shades of Grey, but a Polish version. And basically, this movie, you should watch it because it's all about this brat-taming fantasy. Basically, it's a very strong alpha female. She's very sexual. She's very, like, irritable. She's very empowered at work. She's very confident. She's very dominant. Okay, and she meets this guy, and he's even more dominant. He's actually like some Italian mafia boss who's like killing people left and right, pulling out guns, and he's super protective of her. And basically, he kidnaps her for a year, and in that time, she has to fall in love with him. Yeah, but basically, they're butting heads constantly. She's trying to best him. He's trying to best her. She's like, you're not going to make me fall in love with you. Like, who are you? And everything. He's like, you will fall in love with me. And he's all like grabbing her by the throat and throwing her down. And um, basically, it is the female fantasy of finding a guy who is stronger than you at your very strongest, who can best you. It's huge for women. Okay, anyway, basically, this is what women are fantasizing about a lot of times when you're in the friend zone. Okay, because she sees you as a man who is capable of turning the tables on her. But in a friend zone, she sees this as like step two in your game, basically, where she's put you in your place, okay? You think she wants you to stay there. What you don't realize is she's waiting for your next move, okay? Or if you're going to make a move at all. So... <laughs> For a girl, it's like the thrill of basically a tiger in a zoo, okay? You see a lot of little kids doing this. They go up to the tiger cage. I don't know if this is just like in comic books or something, but they, they poke the tiger. They want to stick their fingers in, and they want to annoy, and they want to throw peanuts at the tiger until the tiger roars at them. They're like, whoa! It's the thrill of that, poking the tiger, poking the bear, and seeing their power flashback at you okay that's thrilling for a girl that's what she wants and that's what she wants out of you okay so you guys need to have spine a backbone you need to stick up for yourselves and honestly i understand why you might not want to do this completely i don't like doing this either okay because i'm like no i'm going to be a good person 
I'm going to embody kindness, compassion, respect, these like spiritual values, basically, even though I'm not spiritual at all, of, you know, being a good person. I'm not going to just act like an asshole because someone tells me, oh, girls like being like an asshole, okay? You don't have to be an asshole. Don't change those values, who you are. However, realize it's a sexual fantasy for women and that and they find it attractive when you give them a little taste of that. All right, so think of it like a role. Think of it like you are kind of tongue-in-cheekly pretending to be that guy because it's a fantasy for women, okay? You don't have to be him in real life. Just pretend to be him. Just act. Um, and just know that you're only doing it because women are like craving it. Um, so just do it when she wants it, okay? So don't feel bad about becoming the asshole you hate. But yeah, uh, I drew some pictures for you guys to try to explain this a bit better. So first I have how you see the friend zone. Okay, this is the woman and she's like really large in size and like amazing, and awesome. And here's you thinking you're a tiny little kitty cat. And you think that's how she sees you like, oh, he's my pet. He's so cute. He does things for me or whatever. Now, here's how she actually sees the friend zone. Okay, you are not a kitty cat, but a tiger in a cage thinking you're a kitty cat, okay? And here's her. The lion tamer or the brat, the brat who thinks she's the brat tamer with her little whip. She's got you whipped. She's got you put in the little cage, okay? What she's really craving in this? You to break free from the cage, pin her down, or, you know, throw her on the bed, express sexual interest and be like, you know what? I'm not your kitty cat. I am the wild tiger. You've poked me one too many times. All right, that's the fantasy in the woman's head, okay? And that's why she senses your raw, attractive power. And that's why she's not gonna admit to feeling it because it's all part of her little brat taming fantasy game. And the rules of the brat taming fantasy game are I give you my best one upmanship and you give me yours. And if you're stronger than me, then you win. And I'm happy about it. But if you're not, I laugh all the way to the bank, basically. Um, yeah. So, guys, the importance of having a backbone. Know that she wants you to have a backbone. Now, how to have a backbone? I'm not the best at it, guys, to be honest. But, um... There's this course I'm watching. Um, it's really good. It's called Sexual Dominance Escalation Course. I'm going to review it for you guys. Um, it explains how to do that in the bedroom perfectly. I'm like, yeah, any guy can learn this. Any guy can do this, whether he is an alpha male or not. If he just does this, one person could be like, thank you, Jesus. But how to get the girls in the first place into the bedroom, not sure yet myself. However, I can tell you from a woman's perspective, how big this brat taming fantasy is for them, how much they sense and want to believe and truly believe all men like are that tiger. But some men think they're the cat, okay? The kitty cat. So have backbone, be mode one, stick up for yourself. Don't let people push you around. Be respectful at the same time, you know? That's like what having a backbone is. It doesn't necessarily mean being an asshole. However, if she wants you to, like in the movie, 365 days, really play it up and be like, you know, the mafia boss of her dreams, be okay doing that. And know that it doesn't make you a bad person. You don't have to truly be that. You just have to act that. In kink, they call it a service top. Someone who is acting the way the woman wants for her pleasure because he enjoys making her happy. He's not a true dominant because he doesn't actually enjoy like controlling and owning women. But he does enjoy acting like that for her, doing whatever she wants to be dominated and live out her fantasies. 
So guys, let me know what you think. I hope this made sense. I hope this is more clear than that first raw attractive power video. Um, maybe it's less clear, but anyway, let me know. And please comment below because I love your comments and goodbye.